All right, I want to show you just a few other things you can do with uh, sketchy physics. So here we go. I didn't use the motor, I used the hinge on this video. And you can see that at the angle this is at, it's frozen. And of course, I just had to use my rotate tool after I built my box. But what's going to happen when I hit play is that this hinge has been attached to both this box and this box. So what that's going to do is it's going to, it's going to flap. And so what I've also done is I've attached another hinge up here. So you'll be able to see when I hit play, it'll fall and begin knocking over things. One way you could add uh, some more physics to your Rube Goldberg machine. I'm going to show you another model right now. And this model I've built a giant wall and with the motor and the ball this is another thing you could do with sketchy physics is knock over a bunch of blocks and of course like i said before in my last video the more elements you add to your sketchy physics models the slower they are going to render you'll see that here I have a lot of these blocks, and what's going to happen is it's going to make this wall unstable. And you'll see it's going to very slowly fall apart. You can see it toppling at the top there now.